With that, I will call our November 23rd meeting of the Utility Service Board to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of our previous meeting held on November 9th. Um, uh, is there any uh, questions or additions, changes to the minutes? Okay, seeing none, then is there a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting? So moved. And all right, thank you. Um, all, uh, I guess, uh, Latrina, can you please call the roll? Yes, and I want to make sure everyone can hear me okay with my mask on. Okay, good. All right, uh, Roberts. Aye. Kepler. Aye. Bannock. Yes. Burnham. Yes. Eamon. Yes. Carmenter. Yes. Sherman. Yes. Okay. Uh, minutes are approved. Uh, next up are, uh, is approval of the claims. First, we have standard invoices in the amount of $677,739.27. Are there any questions or comments on invoices? Okay, seeing none, is there a motion to approve invoices? So moved. Second. All right, and Latrina? Sermon. Yes. Bannock? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Carmenter? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Burnham? Yes. All right. Uh, thank you. Invoices are approved. Next up are utility bills in the amount of $67,322.36. Any questions or comments on utility bills? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All right, and Latrina, please call the roll. Bannock. Bannock, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> please, please note that Mr. Bannock uh, gave a thumbs up uh, rather than a yes. Sorry, it was not. It wasn't unmuting. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Eamon? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Kapler? Yes. All right. Utility bills are approved. Next up are wire transfers in the amount of $374,300.53. Any questions or comments on wire transfers? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Eamon? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Carmenter? Yes. All right, uh, those are approved, thank you. Uh, next up is the approval of the consent agenda. And for this, I will turn it over to Vic Kelson. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to bring up the consent agenda for tonight. It totals $9,630. Uh, item A is uh, $4,630 to Electric Plus. This is to replace five non-working pole light heads with LED lights at Monroe. Uh, and then the second item is the $500,000, or sorry, the $5,000 per year consulting services for the, uh, the uh, customer assistance program through the South Central Community Action Program. Uh, would any board member like to consider either of these items separately? Hearing none, hearing none if there's no opposition, uh, the consent agenda will be approved as recommended by staff. Hearing no, hearing no opposition, the consent agenda is approved. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. Uh, next item is a bid opening for the Jordan River Culvert Project. And uh, I believe Jane Fleeg is going to uh, conduct that. Yes, um, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, we received three bids for the Jordan River Culvert Reconstruction Project. Um, first, I'll open up Milestone Contractors. This is 
is a lump sum bid in the amount of $13,184,000. $13,184,000. Second bid is from Ragle Incorporated, R-A-G-L-E. Again, a lump sum bid, fourteen million six hundred ninety thousand. Fourteen million six hundred ninety thousand. And the final bid is from Kreider and Kreider. We have a lump sum bid of seventeen million seven hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. Seventeen million seven hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. We will review those bids um, and determine how we want to move forward. I do have our engineer's estimate with us. Um, our engineer's estimate for the project was eleven million six hundred. Sorry, eleven million three hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars four hundred twenty-five. Eleven million three sixty-seven four twenty-five. So clearly, our bids have come in higher than our engineers' estimates. So we'll have to like, take a look at these and get back with you. Do you have any questions, uh, Amanda? Hi, Jane. Can you just tell us where each of these contractors are located? Kreider and Kreider is a Bloomington contractor. Uh, Ragel Incorporated is from Newburgh, Indiana, and Milestone is a Bloomington contractor. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Any other questions? Okay, not seeing any. Uh, thank you, Jane. Thank you. All right. Um, now, before we move on, I just want to let uh, folks know who might be watching the meeting on our Facebook live stream that uh, there are a couple of more items of business and then we'll be asking for petitions and communications from the public. Uh, if you are not on our Zoom meeting and instead watching on Facebook Live, you can put any uh, public comment, petitions, communications into the uh, live stream chat and uh, Holly uh, will read those uh, aloud for us at our meeting, all right? Um, so uh, is there any old business from the board? Any old business from staff? None. Okay, any new business from the board? Any new business from staff? None. Okay, uh, and I don't think we had any subcommittee reports this week, did we? Nope, okay. Uh, and then, uh, so staff reports, uh, Vic Kelson. Uh, good evening again. Uh, I uh, only have one item and that's related to, distantly related to the, the Jordan River uh, project, and that is that uh, we did have our uh, bond rating call with Standard and Poor's, and we are still at A plus for the uh, sewer works, uh, which is good news. Um, that went very well. Uh, also, I guess with the, the COVID on the rise, uh, and you've seen a lot of stories about cases elsewhere in city government, uh, I wanted to just assure everyone that here at CBU, we've taken steps to reduce the number of people in the building uh, to, to the minimum necessary on, uh, on a daily basis right now, and that we are continuing to monitor and take all the precautions we possibly can. Um, so uh, we're doing the best we can. And on behalf of staff, I'd like to wish all the board members and anyone watching a uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Vic. And happy Thanksgiving to all our, our wonderful CBU staff as well. So, all right. Um, then that brings us to petitions and communications. And I know that we have a, a one member of the public attending via Zoom. 
uh, Mr. Josh McConnell. And so um, we give like five minutes for public comment uh, per person. Okay, the reason why I'm attending the meeting is I just moved into my new house here on Weeping Willow Way. And I opened my bill up to 400, um, $462.86. So I have been working with the wonderful ladies there in the office. And I've seen, if they said, basically, I'm at your mercy. If you guys could help me out with this bill, I've hired a plumber. A plumber came in, could not find a leak. He said, I had two stoppers need replaced. So I went and got one, two of them. And the one I replaced um, still had an issue working on that. Got that problem taken care of. And the one he said was bad was not bad because I couldn't, I got the wrong one, put it back in and checked it. And it had nothing coming back through it. So I, and I did hire Majaro home inspections to inspect this house, thinking that there was not a problem with the plumbing whatsoever because they caught like one or two issues. I can't remember exactly now and those were fixed. I was not aware of this other issue until I opened my bill up. So that's why I was telling you guys, if you guys could work with me, because I also had an apartment complex I know in Gosport, and when I was renovating there, I was able to go before the board and they helped me once with the water bill problem I had as well. Mm, okay, well, um, so I guess, uh, thank you for letting us know, you know, that you've got this, this problem going on. Um, I guess, uh, can I ask uh, either Vic Kelson or Chris Wheeler as to options for Mr. McConnell? Oh, Vic, I can't hear you. There, uh, Chris can weigh in as well, uh, but uh, what, Typically, the way we handled it and the reason that there wasn't a, 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 an adjustment made in the first place is that uh, water that goes through the meter, uh, unless if, if the meter is working properly, we cannot waive uh, any water service charges at all. That's under the US, uh, IURC rules. Uh, we can uh, do waivers for uh, some or all of the sewer fee uh, as long as the water doesn't go down the sewers, but for leaking toilets, that's exactly where the water goes. And that's that's why for board members, that's why we didn't consider an adjustment in this case. Chris might be able to weigh in as well. Hi, this is Chris Wheeler with the city legal department. And um, what Vic says is exactly right. The way the Indiana uh, Utility Regulatory Commission looks at these and uh, in its own uh, administrative code uh, states that uh, water leaks that can be detected out in the service line coming into the house that might dispense into the yard, for example, um, if it's, it's still going to get metered, so the water bill is still going to, I guess what they're saying is they don't care what happens to the water as long as it gets metered. If the meter has acted accurately and correctly measured the use of the water, whether it goes into the dirt or goes down the sewer or into your swing, swing pool, or you take long showers, it doesn't matter. You're going to get billed for the water used. Um, but if it doesn't go into the sewer, then we can at least work uh, with the customer on re relieving them of some or all of the of the sewer bill. So uh, we're sort of stuck with that rule. I'm not sure how Gosport got around it, um, but CBU has traditionally and historically not given credits for uh, water bills that are, are high as a result of a leaky toilet. Mm. So uh, I, I think that... The Oh, go right ahead. I say the only reason I'm asking is I just literally moved in, took possession of this house, and I had no idea. And like I said, I had an actual company come in and go through the house. This would have been something that they should have caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until I got my first. Gene, can I ask a question? Uh, sure, Julie. We have we have several um, people who own property and deal with tenants and or our attorneys on the board. Um, would this possibly be something where Mr. McConnell could go to the previous owner or the real estate agents and see if there's any recourse in case this is something that the previous owner should be paying for? 
Well, and I would also recommend, uh, Mr. McConnell, if you have um, your real estate sales documentation that would show when you took possession, mm -hmm. I would like to know that myself uh, and, and discuss it with uh, CBU as to perhaps what amount of this bill rightfully should be yours versus anybody who owned the property prior. Yeah, I can gladly get that for you. I moved in Labor Day weekend. And so then I got the bill a month ago. I mean, a month after that. Yeah. So, I so what, I, what I'd be really keenly interested in is when you would have, when, when did you take possession? So if you, I know you moved in on, on Labor Day weekend, but I'd like to know what your sales agreement showed as to when possession occurred. That would have been that Friday, literally that Friday. Yeah. And if so you can like, get me that yeah. documentation to support that, yep. I think that'd be great. And then I think we'd have a really good argument yeah, for that. at least yeah. working on the bill a little bit with you. Okay. Okay. So, um, Latrina, can you follow up with uh, Josh and connect him with Mr. Wheeler? Yes. Yes. Meeting? Thank, meeting. Thank you. Okay. And okay. Uh, Jim Sherman, you had a, a question or comment. Got to unmute, Jim. Oh. Yeah, you're still muted. Yeah, ju just to let Josh and other people know that starting in the very near future with the new metering system, people will be able to monitor their own use on a minute to minute basis. So, you know, if you get into the habit of doing that, that's going to really diminish the likelihood of something like this happening to our users in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Vic. Yeah, yeah, let me reinforce that. Uh, we're in the stage right now in the early stages of deploying the customer portal for the new advanced metering initiative. Uh, I'm, I'm a beta tester for that, and uh, I can uh, vouch for the fact that when you have a toilet running, you can have it set up alerts. So if you use more than a certain amount of water in a day, it will send you an alert, and I can vouch for the fact that it works as I had that happen to me. So there, there's some good stuff coming as that system gets rolled out. Um, that doesn't fix your bill, Mr. McConnell. And so, um, I'm so if you follow up with uh, Chris Wheeler at City Legal, um, okay. maybe something can be done. Well, I thank you guys at least for your time and taking me in for consideration. It means a lot. Okay, thank you. Thanks for attending. You guys, you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. And Holly, are there any uh, comments in the chat on Facebook Live? No comments or questions via Facebook. Okay. Well, uh, so then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. We are adjourned. Thank you all. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs>